Celebrating his return to toy store shelves and to Transformers cartoons and comics, this week we're looking at the basics on one of the greatest heroes in Cybertronian history, Optimus Primal. Optimus Primal debuted in 1996 as the leader of the heroic faction of the Beast Wars toy line, the Maximals. Primal was available in two forms that first year. A small bat figure sold in a two-pack with the Predacon leader Megatron, and a King Kong-style giant gorilla laden with weapons and play features including a chest-beating action. Now, at first, Primal and Megatron were presented as being the same characters as Generation 1 Optimus Prime and Megatron, who were continuing their war in these new beast forms on modern-day Earth. But that premise was thrown out by the Beast Wars animated series. The cartoon reimagined the Maximals and Predacons as the descendants of the Autobots and Decepticons from hundreds of years in the future, and recast Primal as a separate individual from Prime. Not that that stopped angry fans unhappy with Beast Wars from making Primal the subject of their infamous anti-beast pro-vehicle rallying cry, Truck Not Monkey. Though he shared the name of a great Cybertronian hero, Primal was an inexperienced officer who, as the series began, was only setting out on his first command assignment as captain of the exploration ship Axelon. However, when a gang of Predacons led by Megatron stole the Maximal Relic known as the Golden Disk, Primal and his crew were the only ones close enough to give chase and diverted to pursue the villains, using their transwarp drive to follow them through time and space to prehistoric Earth. After crash landing, the two teams found themselves forced to adopt organic skinned alternate modes based on the native animals to shield their robot forms from the planet's excessive energon radiation. In his new Gorilla Alternate Mode, Primal led the Maximals in the Beast Wars against the Predacons. But his misfit crew, including the impetuous Cheetor, the disrespectful insubordinate Rat Trap, and the confrontational former Predacon Dinobot made his command a challenging one. His struggles exemplified in his frequently sarcastic catchphrase, Well, that's just Prime. Wearily delivered by actor Gary Chalk. At the climax of the show's first season, Primal perished in a transwarp explosion orchestrated by Megatron. But science officer Rhinox was able to recover his spark from the great beyond and implant it into a new body, upgrading Primal into the form of his new 1998 trans metal action figure, which added a hoverboard to his gorilla form. But this wouldn't be the only upgrade that Primal would undergo during the Beast Wars. Soon, Megatron's true reason for coming to the past was revealed when he attempted to alter history by killing the original Optimus Prime. To save his ancestor's life, Primal took Prime's spark into his body and was mutated by its power into a quadruple-changing super transmetal form with beast, air, and ground vehicle modes that was dubbed Optimal Optimus. In this form, Primal led the Maximals to victory in the Beast Wars but their story continued into the 1999 sequel series Beast Machines, in which Primal and his crew returned to Cybertron, only to find that Megatron had beaten them there and conquered the planet. Reformatted by the Oracle supercomputer into a new techno-organic form, Beast Flesh and Transformer Metal fused at the cellular level. Primal believed that the computer had charged him with a divine mission to transform Cybertron itself from a metal world into an organic one. He threw himself into this task with a fanaticism that grew so potentially destructive that the Maximals, especially Cheetor, came to question his fitness to command. As the Maximals' conflict with Megatron continued, however, Primal came to realize that he had been wrong. In truth, the Oracle desired a balance between the organic and the technological. Realizing the error of his ways, Primal sacrificed his life to achieve this goal, plunging himself and Megatron into Cybertron's core and triggering the reformatting of the planet into a techno-organic paradise. Several toys were released of Primal's Beast Machine's incarnation. The first was based on concept art for the series and wound up having little resemblance to the cartoon, while the larger Blast Punch figure was a better match save for its loud colours. The largest figure, Air Attack Optimus Primal, was actually initially cancelled, but then belatedly released as part of the 2001 Robots in Disguise toyline, 
with a bio that described how, post Beast Machines, the now dead Primal acted as a cross dimensional spirit guide for the Robots in Disguise version of Optimus Prime. But death was not the end of Optimus Primal's story, as numerous spin off stories set within the continuity of the cartoon have continued his saga. As part of the 2003 Transformers Universe toy line, Primal's original Gorilla toy was re released in a new colour scheme and the Universe comic released through BotCon, the official Transformers convention, told the story of how the Transformers creator god, Primus himself, resurrected Primal to lead the fight against the resurgent threat of Unicron. His new colours were explained to be the result of infection by a Unicron virus. To cure him, Primus later reformatted him into an entirely new body based on a brand new toy released in celebration of Beast Wars 10th anniversary in 2006. Additionally, other comics from BotCon would tell stories from Primal's younger days, and a toy of his Cybertronian form was even released exclusively through the convention. Optimus Primal has also enjoyed several adventures in Japanese media, most prominently a guest starring role in the 1998 theatrical movie produced to tie in with the Japanese exclusive cartoon Beast Wars Second. The film saw Primal plucked out of the Beast Wars by an alien time machine and brought to the far future, where he teamed up with Maximal leader Lyo Convoy. Primal was depicted as possessing an Energon Matrix, the power of which he combined with Lyo Convoys to become Burning Convoy and end the threat of the monstrous Majin Zarak. Another time travel misadventure in 2004's Robot Masters series led to Primal visiting 21st Century Earth, where he joined forces with his ancestor Optimus Prime to battle the Megatrons of two eras. Japan also had its own take on what became of Primal after Beast Machines, which ignored the universe story. In this version, also told in conjunction with the series' 10th anniversary, in the short prose series Beast Wars Reborn, Primal and Megatron were resurrected by Logos Prime, one of the original 13 Primes, who brought them into the world of the Unicron trilogy and made them compete to see who would inherit his powers over space and time. Several pieces of Japanese media have also told the story of a duplicate of Primal, created in a time travel accident, who joined the ranks of the interdimensional force of Transformers known as the Protectors, who defend against threats to the fabric of space and time. The spark of this Primal once famously, if briefly, inhabited the body of Nemesis Prime. But not every new story starring Optimus Primal is a spin-off from the cartoons. Recent years have seen new takes on the Maximal Leader emerge, like the comedy manga Transformers Legends, in which he's reimagined as an office manager who runs the Axelon Trading Company and a single father to his son Optimus Minor, or IDW Publishing's comic books, in which he's cameoed as a member of the Beast Armies of Onyx Prime. Several new toys of Primal have also been released in the post Beast era years, like a die cast metal titanium series figure of his optimal form, and a high end collector's figure in the Transformers Masterpiece line. Most recently, when Hasbro ran an online fan poll to determine which classic character would receive a new large scale figure in the Power of the Primes toy line, Optimus Primal emerged the winner. His new figure combines elements of all three of his forms from the Beast Wars cartoon. He combines with armour to go from his original look to his optimal form, and he can even reconfigure into that wonderfully silly gorilla on a surfboard. Getting a new toy also netted Primal a role in Machinima's Power of the Primes cartoon, voiced by actor Ron Perlman. This version of Primal was the latest in a line of guardians tasked by the 13 Primes with watching over the ancient weapon the Requiem Blaster, which he had safeguarded all his life. When the fallen Prime, Megatronus, stole the blaster, Primal joined with Megatron, Windblade and a group of others to reclaim it. In the course of the ensuing battle with Megatronus and his ally the Unicron possessed Hot Rod, Primal was chosen by the Matrix of Leadership to become its next bearer, and was transformed by its power into Optimal Optimus. Triumphing over the villains, Primal was appointed the new leader of Cybertron, with his namesake Optimus Prime at his side to offer him guidance in his new role. Together with Beast Wars Megatron, 
Over the years, Optimus Primal has managed to escape the shadow of his Generation 1 predecessor and distinguished himself as a hero in his own right in some of the biggest ways possible, saving all of history and bringing a new age of peace to Cybertron. A special recolor of his new Power of the Primes toy, available at this year's San Diego Comic Con, sits him on the throne of the Primes, at last granting this big bot the position of respect and power that fans have always known he deserves. And those are the basics on Optimus Primal. Share your love for the boss monkey in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for more episodes of this and my new series, The Art of Transformers. Until next time!